Today on 21st Century Television. Explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Television. The successful future of brick and mortar retailers and supermarkets rests not in bigger stores or better locations, but in a device that sits in your pocket right now, your cell phone. Our guests today and their company, MyDax, have staked their livelihood on it. Here to discuss this, we have Vice President of Operations, Jim Whitaker, and Support and Installation Manager, Frank Buccarelli. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to be here today. Thanks for having us. Jim, what are the opportunities for retailers and supermarkets when it comes to mobile? And what are the challenges that might still be holding them back? Well, it's extremely important today uh, for a retailer to know exactly who the customer is that's walking through their front door. And one of the tools uh, that's necessary for that is mobile. Mobile allows the retailer to target promotions specifically to the most profitable customers in the store. Mm. One of, the, one of the challenges, of course, that they have on the reverse of that is how do you merge the mobile technology into the uh, total enterprise? And that's one of the specialties that uh, we bring to the table. Huh. So Frank, tell us about MyDAX and how you help your clients seize these new opportunities. Yeah, uh, we can do is uh, we can integrate with the existing equipment, uh, whether it's a piece of plastic or now moved over to a mobile device. Uh, we can push those special offers, targeted promotions, uh, behavior groups, type of history uh, purchases, uh, and push those segmented uh, coupon offers, e-coupons, uh, right to the customer, right to the mobile device. Beautiful. Well, today we head to Zagara's Marketplace in Cleveland to see MyDAX's next generation mobile technologies and solutions in action. While online shopping is common these days, the retail space has been slow to respond. MyDAX ties the mobile functionality in people's phones to the brick and mortar point of sale, merging transactions, payments, and back-end functionality into one unified application for retail. While they're doing their shopping at home, I can provide an in-store promotion to them. While they're shopping in the store, promotions will come up onto their mobile application that relate to that aisle as a locator. Between 50 to 80 percent of consumers opt in to targeted promotions weekly. MyDAX also provides a better experience for the customer at checkout. They can take their application, their mobile application, and scan their order as they're shopping. The order is ready to be checked out at that point. So instead of spending the time shopping and spending the time checking out, they can do all of it at one time, go right through the register for the convenience of showing their mobile application's uh, QR code, it scans it at the register lane, and they're ready to check out. If I decide to put something on sale for the dinner hour, I can communicate with them that that special is occurring right now. They can also uh, receive electronic coupons for promotions based on their shopping habit, not just what I'm offering, but tied back into what they want to purchase. I can't think of a better way to communicate with customers. Jim, how big is the demand for a mobile approach to retail? Most retailers today have a significant investment in uh, brick and mortar uh, at their locations. They have, uh, in some cases, aging POS. And while most customers are used to purchasing on Amazon and other online vehicles, uh, the cost associated with the, uh, with the existing retail operations has caused retail to lag a little bit behind, but uh, some industry sources and some surveys that we've seen show that up to 80% of the retailers actually use mobile applications at some point. Hmm. Frank, what's the value proposition for the consumer? We want to make it targeted promotions, easy for the customer and fast for the checkout. So these targeted promotions can be evaluated through uh, customer's history patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're segmented to uh, serial promotions, uh, on items that they don't necessarily purchase. Uh, we also want to be able to offer those through an electronic device, in this case our mobile uh, application, where the customer can select those and, and create a shopping list for themselves and also add a payment type device uh, where the customer doesn't even need to pull out a plastic and use that all through the mobile device. Oh, that would be nice. Wow. Jim, how does your mobile application deliver promotions that are specifically targeted to the consumer? How does that work? 
Well, if you can envision a customer in their own home wanting to create a shopping list uh, for the week, they have the ability to um, actually look at what they have on hand and actually create a custom shopping list. The application will do that. It will look at uh, past uh, orders that the customer has uh, placed. It'll look at uh, past purchase patterns and it will actually allow the customer to go through and select either select coupons or in some cases we can look at the history information surrounding the coupons and actually deliver targeted coupons to the customer. And then when the customer is in the uh, store shopping, uh, a geolocation system will monitor the customer's activity throughout the store and, and offer customers uh, targeted promotions for the particular area of the store that the customer is standing in. Is there an app that they have to have open then to be getting these coupons as they're walking around the store? Yes, again, the customer can download the app uh, through, the, uh, through the system and uh, basically opt into the program mm -hmm. uh, and they can select to have those uh, special offers sent to them uh, as they approach in those certain areas of the store. That is remarkable. And then the customer just pins the item that they want on the screen. Okay. And it adds it to the order automatically. It adds it to the order automatically. Right. So they're taking care of the whole thing. Just right. the, the purchase, everything, right there on the mobile. Wow. What does the future look like for this type of mobile shopping where customers are getting these promotions pushed to their phones while they're in the store, all of these things? I mean, is this going to become common everywhere in the near future? That's our, that's our impression. We're looking at a, a store of the future that is uh, part shopping in your home, part shopping at a brick and mortar retailer, uh, part shopping online. Um, that uh, they're all gonna be combined into one shopping, one shopping experience, uh, targeted though specifically to what the consumer actually wants to buy to save you time and save you money. And don't we all want that? Well, it sure seems like we can expect to be buying our groceries from our phones in the not so distant future. Thanks for coming on the show, gentlemen, and for explaining this to us. Thank you. Thank you. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching. <laughs>